Hello everybody, this is Atomic and welcome to another episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. So, last time we d defeated the mighty corrupted turtles in a gruesome battle that gripped thousands. No, 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 no. We, basically there were some turtles, we spoke to them for a bit because I have pet pal and then they somehow got corrupted and they attacked us and it was a bit like, oh, alright, okay. And they're actually a bit tougher than I expected. Um, but I won. Here is the scene of our gruesome battle. Um, I wish they hadn't become corrupted, but there you are. You don't always get what you want. So we're going to continue with our story. I, I'm not 100% sure where I have to go. I think I have to go down here. So on we go. Oh, these are the people that don't want us to reveal them. Um, they are hiding from somebody. So we'll just uh, we'll just go down here. Hopefully, uh, oh, I forgot about our cat friend. We better keep our cat friend alive. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we've spotted something. What have we spotted? Something hidden has been revealed. The higher your wits, the more likely you are to reveal traps and secrets. So how do we find what he's spotted then? Um, okay, I mean, I... Oh, it wasn't just the cave that we came out of, was it? I hope not. That That's a bit rubbish if it was. Let's go down here. Anything interesting in the barrel? No, of course not. It's only the beginning of the game. We're not likely to find a ton of... Oh, autosave. Right, what have we found? A trice. And some stuff over there. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, a trice is just a person named Trice, it seems. Hey, mister. It's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? It is a lot nicer. back to save the others. I saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. I think we got everybody on the beach. That was the girl who was trying to convince Jill to go back and save everybody. I think, anyway. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. So it looks like we're coming to the town. Magister, stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. Oh, Godwoken. Dallas the Hammer. That's we a pretty know cool you've name. been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. Oh, interesting. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. Wow, that's pretty brutal. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm sort of not... Who is this guy? The Hammer's Pet. So which one is Godwoken? Is that the bishop? Um... So, obviously they are the ones that imprisoned me, but I'd like to think that my character is good at heart, so... Yes, let's let's short, shut this one. Oh, you can shut up, lady. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Oh, come on. Stop! My father! May his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Help the void destroy it. Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not okay with this. Can I? Can I? Oh! Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Wow! Damn! 
just wow okay let's use this opportunity of course as we always would do to loot but come on jeez all right let's talk to each other the lizard magister or what's left of her lies in a puddle of gore <sighs> wow i mean okay savages yeah the lizard yet a magister no matter her reasons her penalty was fair these creatures are so prone to violence Naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. <laughs> Famous, so matter of fact. Okay, I mean, that was... Jeez. Okay, so quick save. Yeah, we'll quick save since we got into the city. Okay. Alright, so... Ah, there's Ifan. Yes, here's one we want. You, help me teach this beast. He must respect. If not, he comes for you next. Oh. Respect? <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you got to make this so hard? Okay. A tense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Good old Ifan. Stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Buy up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Oh, so we've encountered racism already. Okay. Um, I like Ifan, so we're going to agree with him. Both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. Yeah, that's the right. You back off. And bows to you in thanks. Follow me before more of them trouble us. Let's do it, yeah. There is a safe place. Oh, a safe place. That sounds good. Let's talk his to Ifan. His sleeves back down. He nods at you, the shadow of a smile on his lip. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. Yep, definitely. Shake he his hand. He your hand tight as a vice and shakes it. Hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back. And it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. Definitely. I've a small errand to run. And then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? Um, yeah. The usual way. Haphazard, terrifying, and drenched in blood. Haven't quite worked out the details. <laughs> okay, of course. But I'll wager it'll be no worse than what'll happen if we stay put. Yeah, fine. Two heads are better than one. And when push comes to shove, four fists are better than two, right? Yeah, I'm with him. Sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Let's Survival keep our blood in, definitely. Priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer is not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Ah, oh, he's a wayfarer. See, mm, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll replace Fane with him because I. But then Fane is in, more interesting than the Red Prince, so maybe I'll get, um, get him to be a muscly guy and we'll get rid of the red prince i think we'll Too do much, that you might say i can make them bleed any which way you want which is i think i want i think i want a fighter uh... can do onwards yeah he scans the horizon for threat right you are lead the way and then we're going to we're gonna I think we're gonna lose the red prince I think yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do once I find that mage oh and there she is hey I know you no sir the dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy back then I was <coughs> murder the beast the beast right? Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? <laughs> uh, don't know. Me too. Did you hear something? When you were in the water, I mean. Uh. 
Yeah, I right. Why not? Same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus, and her whole body goes rigid. Okay, so this is a struggle from She's within. She's still, waxy skinned. Her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Um, let's call out instead of touching her. And her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? Um, let's ask her. Oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. <laughs> Waggle a rakish eyebrow and ask if she's implying she meet herself at home. Let's not say like that. This. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. Okay. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. <laughs> like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Okay, does she now know what she was hosting? just a question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite, either. Maybe a spectre. But I wouldn't bet money on it. Interesting. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Um. Yeah, they hold me in. Yeah, same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right, though. So, you want to check this place out together? Yes, does, definitely. Right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So, you'll have to lately so... open into the enchanting arts. But I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. Enchanter is fine. So, yeah? Hey, wait a sec. It looks like you have all the till then. Oh, how do I... Okay, how do I get rid of somebody? Um... Okay, I actually don't know how to get how to lose someone. Um, 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 um. Uh. Oh, it's not obvious, is it? Party management. Here we go. Oh, I don't feel so good. Nope. Okay. Uh, formation? Nope, that's not how we do it. Inventory, skill panel, crafting panel, world map, journal, toggle actions. And the hot bar. Mm, okay. Can I just drag him away? If I do that, then and I hey talk there, to her. Old buddy, old acquaintance. Hey, wait a sec. It looks till then. No. Okay. I'm just gonna do a quick Google of uh, of how to drop a companion. Oh, okay. All right. So, I just talked to them. Horrible surrounding for an agreeable conversation, but go ahead. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Yes. Your loss. Okay. Not there we go. Good. Bye. That's that sorted. Sorry about that. Um, I should have just checked, really, hey there, shouldn't I? Buddy, yeah. Cup. Let's do it. That was easier. Okay. So she's the one with all of the different elemental abilities, and that's perfect. That's what I want. Um, oops, and it looks like we can, uh, oh, wrong button again. It looks like we can level her up a bit. Intelligence, of course. Memory. Learn skills. Yeah, that probably sounds useful. Let's go for another one in this. Yeah, sure. And she can be a telekinesis. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so 
let's do a quick save and then we'll be on our way what's up here shrine to the divine the shrine depicts lucy and the divine avatar of the seven gods okay let's just leave i don't i don't know if i believe or not so that's the waypoint this is we're in fort joy okay a crumbling disaster Surely you'll have one. Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Okay, all right, that's Nothing fine. Wanted. Oh, so that's the dreamer's resting place. So that's what we had with the with the red prince. Not that it matters now. Um, can I see anywhere I have to go? Down here is a cavern entrance. Okay, let's check our quests then. Where are we going? Um, escape. Okay, never mind. I don't know where we're going to go, so we're just going to have a look around. Seems like the best thing to do. The arena. No, I've heard about the arena, and apparently we don't want to go there straight away. Fort Joy Ghetto. Mona. Me. <coughs> go. Is she on fire? Okay, let's just go. Disease blocked by physical armor. Oh, jeez. She was going to disease us. What's over here? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Will they attack us if we... Yeah, let's not risk it. this way then some kind of blacksmith as you approach the blacksmith you feel a bony hand on your arm Fane leans in and whispers in your ear oh what does he want if it would be acceptable I have an inquiry for this human it is of a personal nature and in interesting it would well that would render this entire conversation rather awkward uh, well, I'm not really in charge, so... Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. Oh, Fane. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak. Oh, Fane. Fane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. Okay. Fane, what did you say? Can I, can, can Beast talk to her? Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Okay, all right. Um. Oh, we've got a special dwarf speech. Oh, why? Looking to buy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, understood. Okay, so what does she have? Does she have something I want? Conjure incarnate skill skill books, spell books. Uh, no, I don't think she does have anything I want to be honest. Let's, uh, let's, let's just leave. How can I leave? Oh, I can't leave. This, this belongs to Dallas. Oh, the Ammer, as you might have heard her, Monica. <laughs> I'm just having a tinker with it to try to figure it out. Oh, so Dallas is the one that just killed that, sure that person. You to buy anything? Yeah, I prefer banter when it's with paying customers. Oh, thanks very much. Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know, Dallas and I. Never Interesting. knew it to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. Oh, was it Dallas who invented the collars? Once. You looking to buy something, or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Uh, how are the collars Magic made? Magic and metal, like most of Dallas's designs. Metal keeps it locked. Magic makes it work. That's all I know. Okay, so let's see if we can get her to loosen it a bit. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, but does she know how That's to manipulate them? No, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. 
All right, let's go. We're, we're not gonna get much more out of her, I don't. Ah, oh, but now she's a quest. Uh, the collar, here it is. I met a backsmith who seems to know how to remove them. Oh, who's good at, who's charming? Which of our people are charming? Uh, he's good at bartering. Oh, I'm the persuasive. I'm the persuasive one. Beast is. The woman looks up as you. Are. What do you need? Uh, a few <laughs> questions. The hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather. The feather. Okay, so we know she, she invented them. Clever lass, no What does she what remember? Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. Okay. People do change, don't they? Oh, interesting. Uh, means, do I have to buy something to get to like me? Is that how it works? I don't really want that to be how it works. Uh, see, I don't really want any of these anyway. No. Okay, we'll 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 come back. We'll try later. You know, maybe it's um something that just pops up every now and then. Where have we not been? We've not been down here. You, you there. You you just arrived, isn't that right? Are you? Are you quite alone? Am I quite alone? Um. Ah, uh, yeah, why does he want to know? I have a proposition. Something, something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Um, oh, no. noble. But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. Okay. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? I feel like he's just like tricking me but let's um let's be alone and talk to him again believe whatever you want this may be your only chance at leaving this place take it or don't all right let's just see what he wants who wouldn't finally someone with a little sense around here the plan's simple completely foolproof I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. I don't There's trust an him. artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. Uh, this item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. Okay, no, his blanket use could help a lot more than to escape. And how many would make it before the guards noticed? Hmm? Four? Five? Every bloody sorcerer in this place? Nah, they'd have to take their own chances. I need one accomplice, no more. Okay, yeah, I think he just wants me to do his work for him. You think I'm being lazy? No, this is sheer pragmatism. I already tried to retrieve the item, but I don't have the um, uh, necessary skills. So basically he wants us to kill someone. You see, I need someone who can handle themselves in a scrap. The item's within a crocodilian nest on a beach nearby. I'll mark the position for you. Okay, I'll take care of it. And you and I are as good as... Yeah, sure. I'll I'll get the item. But I don't trust him, so I don't think we'll go with this plan. Besides, I don't want to get out without people anyway, if that is an option. Hey, there's a blue lizard. Let's talk to the blue lizard. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts... And doesn't look up as you approach. Okay, just tap him. What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. Any advice for a recent arrival? Sounds advice? useful. Hmm. Hold on to yourself, my friend. The fort is full of decent folks turned savage by confinement. Do not let it happen to you. Okay, fine. When another divine arrives, will source change back? What can Easy we now, do? Fault, 
Well, what's over here? There's a person over here. Why why are they this far out? Here you are. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. Um, okay. Uh, you've never met before. We are unfamiliar yet familiar. We are the same material, you agree? I am very curious. No so idea what he means. Me. Tell me your tale. Why not? Start sure. From the beginning. Oh man, Start this is going to take come. for ages. Um, okay, I fine. See, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Yeah. Tell me what let's, you find. Let's tell him the truth. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Sure, why not? Ah, to overturn a tyrant, this is no simple task. Tyrants of governments, tyrants within ourselves, these take great strength to face. Power comes from strength, and strength comes from growth. These seeds sprout, so does the iron in your spine. I give my word. So he gave me some seeds. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather. And now he's a traitor. <laughs> how, how weird. Okay, all right. Um, all right, let's go. That was a bit odd and unexpected. So I told him my tale, and he gave me some seeds. I'll keep it. I suppose maybe it'll come up later. Oh, hello. Something to do down here. Oh, it's the dreamer's resting place. I see. Yes, I remember. Oh, why is this person hiding? Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was among the sorcerers with whom you fought the Void Woken down in the hold of the sinking ship. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. <laughs> what a guy has to do to earn no that stare. Had these words left your mouth, then she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. Interesting. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? Uh, I am the pirate captain. A seafaring man. Should have known from your barnacle breath. Wow, that's insulting. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Let's ask about the lizard. This is my desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. You see, once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. Okay. But now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here to Fort Joy. Ooh, interesting. I intend to raise the subject with him. Okay, but I'm not she the lizard. the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Um, I don't really want her to join me. Your death will be slower, more painful, but fair enough. If you insist. Uh, I don't want to fight her, so let's go for this. The sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist come. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Planning escape. my escape. <laughs> How you do tickle me. Um, Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. I'm far from a I'm misguided deer. To agree. You managed to catch me off guard after all. Oh, little needle mine. What should I do? Push or pull? Hmm. The agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a okay. casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then. 
Shall we? I don't. I don't. Be playing many a round of hide and seek. I don't so, really want her to join me. Would you like me to play? I think. As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So I guess I'll just pick rogue. Fine. Lead on, then follow and then, me. but wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Let's have a chat. Oh wait, we tried to have a chat with the dreamer, didn't we? Huh? What? But I was. It was. Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Why did you wake me? I was so close, so close. Breathe deeply and coming. You seem to smell oranges. Interesting. Yeah, and let's go for that. Smell of burnt hair and barren dreams. But I had the good breeding okay. not to mention. So close so to what? Close to the dream. It's been so long. Okay, let's. We're getting nothing out of him. So, Fane, you're our sneaker. Take this. Good man. Let's go. So bed rolls are supposed to be really useful. Um, ah, a dog. Ask the dog his name. I'm Buddy. Oh, what's the matter? It's no use anyway. No, come on, come on, tell me. You're, you're nice. Emmy would have. Emmy would have loved you. Oh, dog, don't be sad. She was my mate for the last seven. Carry the two plus fifty. Five years. The magisters, they took her. Oh. Nope. Haven't smelled her either. She was real bright, you know. Had the best sniffer you've ever seen. I guess that's why they wanted her, not me. Oh, so poor hey, dog. Let me show you something. Okay, let's go, dog. Oh, what was that? A key? Nice. Nice. Okay, I've got the key. What do I do with the oh, key? Hey, hey. I thought you might be Emmy. Give his belly a rub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Where can you use the key? Okay. Oh, the key! The magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? Oh, Emmy. oh poor dog. We're going to find his mate. To find out where it leads. If you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. Let's, let's try and find Emmy. But she was taken by a guy in a white robe who smelled horrible. Like lots horrible. And lots and lots and lots and lots of dogs. And also a little like like dead people. <laughs> to the big castle just there. Okay, I'm the so big castle. Let's go to the big castle. Yeah, finding Emmy. This is our This this is this is gonna be our Our quest. Finding Emmy. Set no. Look, I want to set like all of these inactive. Emmy, Emmy is our priority right now. Okay, maybe, maybe I didn't really want to set these as inactive. I'm just gonna set them back to active. But we are gonna find Emmy. Let's see. Where do we have to go? Fort. Okay. Locate. Let's go into the big castle. Um. Oh, cave. A wee reprieve from the den outside. What's in the den? You can't get me. El Elodie. Why is she green? Okay, let's talk to her. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Humans hate us both the same here. This is so strange. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, happy to help. Um, who's in charge? Cave. We trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. Okay, so Griff gives the bread, so he's in charge. But let's see if we can find a way out. No escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. Well, they did make somebody explode at the beginning of this episode, so I don't blame you. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. 
We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magister's come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special uh, occasion, but uh, I can think of no finer occasion than this. Uh, elves can eat limbs and experience the memories of the person to whom the limb belonged. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh, okay. All right. Choose your reward. Um. Fine. All right. So maybe we'll take some some armor. Yeah. Let's take some armor. Oh wait. Can I take? No. Can I take one of those? Yeah. We'll take some armor and we'll give that to say. Oh, what did I do? Did I make? Him talk to someone. As she catches sight of you, recognition flashes in her terrified eyes. She drops her hands from her throat and starts hyperventilating. What has happened? Ben, ben Mest, Ivan, Ben Mest, you killed them. You killed them. He killed them all. Murderer. I'm really confused as to what's happened. Okay, nobody's giving you a contract for her life. Oh, so the whole time he was, um, <laughs> we just left him. Oh, I didn't even realize. Right. Okay. So we're going to have to go and get him. Basically, we're going to have to go and get him. Um, or let's just make him come to us. This is much better. I think. Yeah, there's the rest of us. Okay, quickly, 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 run, 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 run. I'm very sorry about this, guys. I didn't even realise that he'd stopped. Um, that he'd stopped following us. I wonder why. But yeah, here's the cave. Come on, come on. We 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 need to give you some armour. All right, there we go. Can I link them up now? I can. Good stuff. So he currently just has a gown. So let's give him armour. <laughs> the armor just looks so big and stupid at the moment. That's uh, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, let's talk to Sahila. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Oh dear. Hey, listen. I, I don't know why, but but I think I need to talk to this elf. Did you guys just see these two kids? One of them just said, "I'll stab you right in the eye." That's uh. A bit, a bit violent. You mind? Okay, let's ask her what's going on. I can't. I, I just need to talk to her, okay? I don't know if that's a good idea, to be honest. She seems to relax. The colour returns to her face. She crosses her arms and scoffs at you. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Yeah, I don't know what you're going to do. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognises you, though... She couldn't have seen your face. Okay, hello, sailor. Hello, Marcus. The spirits have left your mind, but they haunt you still. How long since you left the Isle of Mists? Well, how does she know about that? I see it before my eyes. Okay, all right, that's fine. Let's, um... Heard fasting is much a burden? Yeah, sure. It is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. <laughs> okay, let's change the subject. We're looking for a way out. Eyebrow, shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. Okay, who's my Amiro? My protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me. And he suffers very much. The suffering is not good. By those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. Yeah, we'll help her friend. Great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I we will find him. That helps. I see a lizard. 
He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. Oh, that's the the one that we saw before that the assassin was after. It's got to be. Okay, so. Okay, so good. So we've advanced. We uh, we need to find Amiro. So I think we're gonna wrap this one up there, guys. Um, a lot of talking in that one, no fighting. So sorry if you don't like the talking and you're more into the fighting bits. But this game is very story driven, so there's gonna be quite a lot like this. Um, next episode, I want to find the dog. I mean, I mean, we can't leave the dog without his mate. That's just not fair. So that's what we'll do. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like uh, if you did enjoy it, and then I'll bring you some more Divinity Original Sin 2. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.